All right. So first of Ken's festive stories is the man who stole Christmas, a children's story. Here we go. Festive cheer. Ah, this page is a collection of the many festive works that I, Dr. Ken's, have written over the seasons. I aim to add on more as I write them. Enjoy, and try not to take them too seriously. Happy Holidays. Festive cheer number one, The Man Who Stole Christmas, a children's story. All hail Christmas Eve, the most wondrous of times, full of roasts and of toast, and the most festive of rhymes. With some fresh eggnog and toddy, and cocoa for mommy, a Christmas like this is not shoddy. But one Christmas day almost didn't come clear, when a man of great horrors came to spread fear. A scalpel and grin, and a swig of some gin, was all that was known of this demon of sin. Who knew where he'd strike that merciless fiend? For naught but fair chance could help intervene. The good old foundation, with much radiation, did try but found only frustration. So who was to say Christmas, that season of wonder, since those who had tried were all torn asunder? The famed GOC, or maybe MC and D? The world heard its breath at who it could be. Then the deadliest moose, with their antlers of flame, came charging on in to change up Duck Man's game. With a neigh and a kick, right into man's dick, moose brought down the surgeon right quick. And so Christmas was saved with a kick to the nuts. The peasants so happy leapt out of their huts. They crowned the sweet moose with a freshly whipped moose and feasted like kings on great goose. So all hail the great moose, lest you find their quick ire. For if they're not praised, you'll die in a fire. Or maybe by crushing, perhaps even flushing. But it's best just to leave them a blushing. Woo! Snap, 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 poetry slam. Oh, yes.